It is almost summer. Well, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, and specifically in Southern California, where we have exactly two seasons, summer and less hot summer. We're getting close to hot, hot summer, and so a lot of people are cranking up those air conditioners. So where did air conditioning even come from? Well, you're about to find out in this episode of... Okay, so air conditioning has been around for a long time because air conditioning is just conditioning the air to do whatever the heck you want with it. Hot, cold, whatever, it doesn't matter. Ancient Egyptians did it, the Greeks did it, and according to Garrison Kalor, it was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. With air conditioning, their windows were shut. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. However, air conditioning, as we know it today, as the stuff that cools your house, wouldn't be a thing until 1902, when Willis Carrier installed the first air conditioning unit at the Sackett Wilhelms Lithographing and Publishing Company in Brooklyn, New York. The unit was installed because the moisture in the air was causing problems with the machines. Cooling the air also dehumidified the swampy New York air, for science reasons that I don't want to explain right now. However, the dehumidified air was necessary for factory operation, and the fact that it cooled the factory workers was just an unintended bonus. Carrier realized that, oh shoot, people like working in comfortable conditions, maybe we can make some money off of this. So Carrier got together with a few of his buds and they founded the Carrier Air Conditioning Company of America in 1914. Air conditioning didn't take off at first as air conditioning units were hella expensive, but by the 30s, luxury cars, factories, and some mansions had some sort of air conditioning. But the concept was limited to the population with large budgets and deep wallets. By the 1950s, however, air conditioning units were small and inexpensive enough that they were marketed for the general public. And by the 1960s, most homes built in the US had some sort of central cooling. Today, air conditioning is a coveted but somehow overlooked luxury for most Americans. We don't know what we'd do without it, but we would also don't seem to care until we don't have access to it anymore. I, for one, will appreciate the cooling breeze of my AC unit this summer, but not necessarily the build that comes afterwards. Well, that's it for this video. That was a quick history of air conditioning. If you want to know in depth how air conditioners work, I'd recommend checking out this video by Technology Connections. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I really enjoy their work and you might too. Before you go, like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below what you think I should do my next video on and I might actually do it. Once you've done that, you should check out the sponsor of this video, National Realty Group. National Realty Group is a real estate company with offices located in Southern California. They're a one-stop solution office, meaning the real estate, mortgage, and escrow departments are located all in the same office. That means you can go through the whole process of buying or selling a house without the hassle of being bounced around to different companies. This makes the whole process a lot easier and a whole lot more enjoyable. Give them a call at 951-684-2600 or if you're like me and you don't like talking to people, visit their website.